Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What's up everybody? It's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About today. Today we are not learning about a fish. We're learning about how to take care of one whenever disease comes its way. I'm going to jump, just jump right into it. We're going to figure out how to do a freshwater dip. Y'all know I don't like to waste time, so let's get right into it. What I'm doing right now is I'm filling up a bag of tap water to dip these fish in. Now, you can use RODI water, but I definitely recommend using dechlorinator if you use tap water. It's the easiest way. Make sure that you pour some of that in there. It gets rid of all those chlorines and kills the ammonia or anything like that. So nothing spikes while they're sitting in the water. That'll get rid of everything. And I also like to do it because the next step is to put it in the water that, that, that the fish is in so that the temperature will be the same and you don't want that bag to accidentally like pop or something in that chlorinated water to get in your tank. So I definitely recommend you dechlorinate it before it gets in your tank. Now what we have here is a orange shoulder tang. And as you can see, I'm gonna try to put some arrows on this video. He has these darker spots on his sides and it is flukes on him. It's not good. It's a little parasite that gets on him and eats away at the fish. It'll start eating away their fins and their skin and you definitely gotta get it off of them as soon as possible. And it's an easy thing to kill though. So whenever you see it, attack it quick, attack it early and you won't have to worry about it later in time. Freshwater dips are mainly used for these flukes. This guy, this is a flame hawk. He has, I don't know if it was, I want to say it's lice. I've never seen it before, but I think this is it because at the end of the video, you can kind of see him wiggling. It's very weird, but either way, it might be flukes, it might be ick, but you can almost see right now it's starting to wiggle a little bit. So I'm thinking it's some kind of bacteria parasite deal. Really jacking with him. It was not good and definitely want to do freshwater dip on him. This is a clownfish with ick, so you can see the white spots all over him. And now you got a powder blue tang with ick on her, and you can see how it looks and what to look out for. <clears throat> so what we do now is we get a get the bag of water you had and pour it in a bowl. You want at least a gallon of water. You can use more though. And you want to put these fish in it. And you got to keep them moving. You do not want them laying on his side not moving. So easy way to do it, agitate the water will get them moving. And sometimes if they're too tired, tickle them at the tail. That normally will get them up moving around swimming. But you need to be doing this constantly because them laying on their side not doing anything is really stressing them out bad. Now whenever these flukes do fall off, it looks like just a little tiny fingernail almost that just pops right off of them and it's that's when you know it's killed instantly and it'll just float in the water don't worry about it now if you do scoop this guy out with a net I would make sure you let that net dry out because now you just put flukes on it and if those flukes end up back in salt water they can easily come back alive so make sure you watch out for that make sure these flukes are completely dead they will come off a clear white color and they will float around. It's almost, really you can't even see them. You can't see them in the video. I tried to get it on the camera, but you can't really see it. But basically they just look like a little shadow in the water. Now this is a blue, uh, powder blue tang doing her. She got a little bit of markings on her face and also had a little bit of, bit of some kind of little parasite. We're thinking it's just ick. Not it. We're thinking it's just flukes on her nose, so we dipped her. Makes it a lot safer, kills anything that might be in those cuts that she has on her. But you can also also use it for injuries if fish are losing fins, if fish have been attacking any, one another. Dip them in there because whenever you have a cut, what can they do in salt water? It can get infected. So dipping them in this gives them a fresh, clean wound to heal up over time. So freshwater dips, it's for icks, it's for flukes, it's lice. That's how to do it. Make sure after you get them, chunk them back in the tank. Now, if a couple minutes go by and this dude's in your tank and he's just like laying on his side, he did not have a good time with the freshwater dip, you need to pick him up 
put him upright and make him swim. So you're basically swimming for him, just a back and forth motion. You're trying to rush the salt water through his gills, get any of that fresh water out. And you're just helping him breathe and come back because freshwater dips are really hard on fish, but they're really easy to do. So make sure you do that if he is having a hard time. What else do I got for a freshwater dip? So, like I said, need at least a gallon of water. That'll keep ammonia from spiking up too fast on them, keep them healthy in there. Now, while freshwater dips are very helpful, they do not always keep the disease away for forever. Flukes, it'll kill it and it'll keep away forever, but if you run into something like ick, it'll definitely help, but not every time it keeps it away. So, a lot of times you have to go to a copper-based chemical a lot of times in our quarantine hospital tanks we use copper safe from Mardell it's the easiest way to do it it's a little bit more laid back copper doesn't hurt the fish and it normally will set the copper right at at least one after one dose it's really great you don't have to worry about dosing it every day to keep it up and if you don't want a quarantine tank not everybody has a quarantine tank I don't even have one it's too much money I'm not in the mood for two tanks you can get Mardell quick cure which is a dipping basically and you put them in a bucket of water at least a gallon and you let them sit in there from 30 minutes to an hour and it's a flute killer it killer lice all the same thing that a freshwater dips doing except it's actually medicine so you're actually really really doing the job for them now a classic fish that will keep and try to keep these things off of them is cleaner shrimp and cleaner wrasse. So I definitely recommend getting at least one of them, maybe a couple of them if you do have tangs, angels, really anything. Once you have a good group of fish, you definitely want one of these in your tank. Keeps them clean, keeps them healthy. But uh, if there's anything else y'all want me to tell you about a freshwater dip, I think I've pretty much covered it. Tried to make it quick and simple for y'all at the beginning so y'all can get off the video and try it yourself. But basically, catch that fish, get him some water from the sink, it's the easiest way. Make sure to dechlorinate it. We have Pond Prime, another one to use is, uh, I can't think of who makes it right now, but it's another kind of prime that will just dechlorinate that water. That's what you're looking for on the bottle, dechlorinate water. Everything else is just special. Dechlorinate that water. Make sure the water is the same temperature as the fish that it's in. You don't want to give this dude a heart attack by putting him in super cold tap water. You know, that's not good for him and then chunk them in there. I wouldn't do a freshwater dip over three minutes and I've really stick to like a minute and a half. I just don't really like risking it, you know? It stresses them out so much. So a good solid minute, if I can keep them swimming around, that's it, I take them out after that. And, God, I feel like I need to talk more. I think this is my longest all about video. Sorry if I'm keeping y'all here, but I just really want y'all to know how to do it and how to do it right. But for ick, flukes, lice, if you start noticing it, let me know. You can actually follow me on Instagram or something. People are always DMing me on there, asking me about what to do. And that's the easiest way to get to me. And that'd be a good way to send a picture if you're not sure what's on the fish and we can figure it out. But like I said, it's also for injuries. A lot of times fish get hurt. We have a uh, yellow tang at our shop. This week, it somehow got stabbed in the eye. We're not really sure what happened, but he has like a solid hole in his eye. He wasn't doing good. We freshwater dipped him, got that wound all cleared out, and now he acts like nothing's wrong with him, eats just fine, just can't see out of that eye anymore. So it really helps. And for people like beginners, that it's really easy to do. So, I mean, that's it. Let me know in the comments if y'all want me to talk about anything else on the freshwater dip. I'll just kind of replay the videos because I've been talking for so much. And that's it. That's your freshwater dip. Leave some comments for me if y'all need some extra info on them. I hope y'all have a good day. Thanks for tuning in. If you lasted till the end, I will see y'all later. Love y'all.